Welcome to my channel, Being Biophilic. In this video we are going to learn about endophytes and their role in plant growth. What are endophytes? Endophytes are microorganisms, typically bacteria or fungi, that live within the tissues of plants without causing any harm to the host. What are the types of endophytes? There are two types of endophytes. 1. Prokaryotic endophytes 2. Eukaryotic endophytes. Prokaryotic endophytes are diverse. 96% of them are belongs to four bacterial phyla that is proteobacteria, actinobacteria, firmicutes and bacterioides. Eukaryotic endophytes mainly belong to the glomeromycota, ascomycota, basidiomycota, unidentified phyla, and, to a lesser extent, zygomycota. These endophytes have been found to play a significant role in enhancing plant growth and can potentially serve as a future substitute for chemical fertilizers. How do endophytes contribute to plant growth? Nutrient acquisition. Endophytes can help plants acquire essential nutrients from the soil more efficiently. They can enhance the uptake of nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium by releasing enzymes that solubilize minerals or fix atmospheric nitrogen, making them more available to the plant. Hormone production. Endophytes are capable of producing plant growth promoting hormones such as auxins, cytokinins, and gibberellins. These hormones regulate various physiological processes in plants, including cell division, elongation, and differentiation, leading to improved growth and development. Disease resistance. Many endophytes have been found to enhance the plant's natural defense mechanisms against diseases. They can induce systemic resistance, produce antimicrobial compounds, and compete with or inhibit the growth of pathogenic microorganisms, thereby protecting the plant from infections. Drought tolerance. Some endophytes can help plants tolerate drought stress by increasing water uptake and reducing water loss through stomatal regulation. They produce osmolites and enzymes that scavenge reactive oxygen species, minimizing cellular damage caused by drought conditions. Soil health improvement. Endophytes can contribute to soil health by promoting the decomposition of organic matter, improving soil structure, and increasing nutrient availability. They can also help in the remediation of contaminated soils by degrading toxic compounds. By harnessing the potential of endophytes, we can reduce our reliance on chemical fertilizers, which can have negative environmental impacts. Using endophytes as a biofertilizer has the advantage of being more sustainable and environmentally friendly, as they are naturally occurring microorganisms. However, further research is needed to fully understand the mechanisms involved and optimize their application for different crops and environmental conditions. Thanks for watching.